Hey everyone, I'm Molly. And I'm Delaney. And today we're sharing with you the story, Walter the Vault Meets the Pumpernickels. Benjamin Pumpernickel hunted through the shelves of Mooney's Magical Mark, looking for a new magic trick. I already know how to make an orange hat turn purple, Benjamin said, and I know how to pull a nickel out of my sister's ear. A shiny light flashed twice and a mysterious electronic voice said, I have a suspicion you're a brilliant magician. Benjamin looked around. Who said that? A coin bank with big googly eyes hopped forward. I'm Walter the Vault. I'm silly and funny. I'll be your best friend if you give me your money. Benjamin's sister Penny raced over. Who are you talking to? She asked. Benjamin pointed. There's something very strange about that square blue guy over there. Walter winked at Penny. He's alive! Penny screamed in delight. Walter smiled and said, Yes, I'm alive, and yes, it is true. If you, if you have 50 bucks, I can come home with you. Walter got so excited that he shot up into the air, spun around three times, bounced off the ceiling, and landed on the floor with a bang. We don't know how to get so much money, Penny said to Walt. Walt's nose lit up. To get some money, you can try to sell things kids want to buy. The kids raced home. Penny picked up her stuffed animal and tried to juggle. We can put on a circus, she said. I can do magic tricks to earn money, Benjamin said. He picked up an orange hat and tried to make it turn purple, but it turned brown and started to smell like rotten eggs. Let's have a bake sale, Penny shouted. Super idea, Benjamin said. Mom, can you help us? Penny begged. Of course, my darlings, Mrs. Pumpernickel said. With help from their mother, the kids baked 20 cupcakes and 30 chocolate chip cookies. Penny was meticulous at spreading the exact same amount of chocolate icing over each cupcake. How much should we charge? Penny asked. Let's charge one million dollars each, Benjamin answered. We only have to sell one cupcake to have enough money to buy everything in the whole store. Penny giggled. Let's charge one penny, just like my name. That's too cheap, Benjamin said. It will take us a hundred years to make enough money. What should we charge, Mom? Benjamin asked. The cupcakes should cost the most because their ingredients were more expensive, Mrs. Pumpernickel answered. And they were fun to decorate, Penny added, licking chocolate icing from her fingers. Benjamin and Penny decided to charge two dollars for each cupcake and one dollar for each cookie. Penny picked up one of the cookies and took a bite. Yummy, she squealed. Hey, no eating the merchandise, Benjamin insisted. We need to sell those things. They went to the park, set up a table, and displayed their yummy pastries. Within an hour, they sold everything. Benjamin dug his hands into the pile of money. We made $69. Let's go buy Walt the Vault. The Pumpernickels hurried to the Mooney's Magical Mart and told Walt what happened. Walt smiled. You kids are very, very smart. It's goodbye now to Mooney's Mart. Benjamin said, with all this money, we can also buy lots more magic tricks. A red light on Walt blinked. My funny pumpernickel friend, think twice before you shop and spend, because once you spend it in a store, your money's gone forevermore. Benjamin realized that Walt was right. 
He placed the extra earnings inside the vault. Walt beeped three times. I know for sure it's me you'll thank for all the money in your bank. Benjamin and Penny took Walt home, which was now also Walt's home. He can hold your savings, Mrs. Pumpernickel said as she patted Walt. He's cute, too. Walt honked and his nose turned bright pink. Walter the Vault knew a lot about money, but he knew one thing even more. He was going to be very happy with the Pumpernickels. Bye guys!